The young of the restless reveals that Jack doesn't want Diana to continue to disturb Allie's life. He tells Phyllis that it sucks that Diane can use Allie to get him to do something silly. Phyllis worries Diane will do much worse things than that in the near future. Jack begins to speculate about everything. He needs to be extra vigilant. He has given Diane a warning directly. However, she has no intention of doing what he hopes. He even offered to ask Jack to mend his relationship with Kyle. He would do it, but it would be disastrous to let Diane know all about Kyle's return to Genoa City. Jack tells Diane about everything. I will pass the word on to Kyle about your return. However, all the decisions are made by him, and I will not interfere in that. Jack also discussed this with Phyllis because it was hard to tell anyone about Diane. They understood that no one wanted Diane's return after all this. However, Diane will make things worse and worse. They would soon return to the city of Genoa, and there were so many things they needed to deal with when they returned. It seems the plot is changing when Ray soon leaves Genoa City, and of course Chelsea and Sharon's lives will also be affected. Ray may want to help Nick with something, but will receive a refusal in return. While Nick and Sharon chatted happily about what was going on, this side, Ray felt uneasy. He doesn't want his wife to get closer to another man, especially when he's being ignored. However, Chelsea will appear shortly after that. They're happy to see each other and have a lot to talk about, but she'll leave when there's something to deal with. Ray will discuss and want her advice because he still doesn't want to have many ideas for Tessa and Mariah's wedding after all. However, she has told him everything was going to change, so things were still uncertain. Her business makes her feel tired, so she will use her free time to go to Chicago to relieve stress. She will want him to come in with her. However, it seems Ray will refuse, and he wants to leave Chelsea with his son and doesn't want to disturb them. But Chelsea believes it's the rival and makes things fun. Connor really likes Ray and always wants to play with him, but he hesitated because he came here with Sharon. However, after seeing Sharon happily chat with Nick, He'll agree with them because it's much more fun after all that than waiting for Sharon. Allie will take the initiative to meet Jack before he returns to Genoa City. And it seems she has something important to say. She said, I want to find out more than that. She gets jealous when she sees Diane's love for Kyle because she doesn't get to live near her mother after all. But Jack makes it clear that Diane doesn't love Kyle. She only loves herself. Will she finally give Jack a chance to improve her relationship? He and Phyllis advised Allie to stay away from Diane because that will still keep her safe. However, Allie found it difficult to understand everything, but she still left after that. But this time, Jack was surprised when he received a hug from his granddaughter, Allie. It's likely that Allie will decide to go to Genoa City as well as to get to know other members of the Abbott family. Fans are extremely looking forward to Tessa and Mariah's wedding and hope there are no more mishaps. Meanwhile, Ray will make a tough choice. The 13th of May has been set for Tessa and Mariah's weddings, and everything is in a hurry. Ray and Sharon will take on many important stages to help them. Mariah is happy to share this. And it's great that our big day is coming and everything will go smoothly. Noah also came up with a new idea for the wedding with a 70s theme, which she believes they'll be pleased with. Nick also wants to support everything. He believes everything will be done before the wedding is celebrated, so don't worry too much.